Okay, so this week is Canadian Mental Health Week, and as many of you know, I'm on the board for the Pathstone Children's Mental Health. We're doing a campaign right now to fundraise for a new facility. And mental health is important to me, it's important to my family, and we're joined right now with Susan Mifsen, and she's with the Canadian Mental Health Association, and she's on the board. And so we're here to talk about Canadian Mental Health Week, and tell us a bit, what's the focus this year for uh, this week's events coming up? So the focus this week is um, on boys and men and mental health. Um, the, the theme for the week is Guys Get Loud. Guys um, Get Loud, okay, and, I can do that. <laughs> and Guys Get Loud um, means really um, being able to speak up about mental health challenges, uh, particularly for uh, boys and men who are sometimes um, have the stigma associated with um, mental health challenges because they're, they're taught to be strong and uh, not cry and all of those things that, uh, that can really prevent them from seeking help when they need it. So do you, what are some of the statistics on, on men and, and young men dealing with because you're right, like there is that stigma that it's if you admit it or if you talk about it, it there's a stigma of you're you're not you're not as strong. So, what, do you have some of the stats that you can share? Um, in terms of uh, young men, certainly the, uh, the the rates of suicide for uh, young men are incredibly high, particularly in uh, the 19 to to 24 age range. Um, in terms of those seeking help, while I don't have the statistics specifically for men, um, it's uh, suggested that probably about two-thirds of the individuals who are struggling with mental health challenges um, do not seek help. And one of the main reasons for that is the stigma associated with it. And it's interesting, Susan, because there's a bit of a gap there where you've got something like Pathstone yes. that provides children's mental health up until the age of 18. And a lot of the services that are provided by different organizations around mental health for young people stops at the age of 18. And now when you're talking about 19 to 24 and you're looking at young males, there are some gaps in the services. Absolutely. And the other piece to that is it, uh, so it tends to be the age when um, some of the mental health challenges present in early, uh, early adulthood. And it's also a time when a lot of uh, a lot of young men go away from home for the first time to college and university, and so their support systems are um, not necessarily in place. And they also, where they might have had uh, a knowledge of their own doctors and their their own services at home, they don't have the same facilities away. Add to that the whole, um, change that comes with. The going to university and, and being away for the first time and uh, sometimes you have a situation where uh, you know among strangers they're not prepared to speak out about their problems. And when you when you look at the college and the university system and, and they do have supports there but again it's it's that stigma that not wanting to admit a weakness, not wanting to admit a, a mental health issue. And so this week's focus is on getting loud. And, and so where are we going to see some of, how, how are you going to show that to the community about getting loud? Well, there was an event uh, actually last week that uh, was uh, put on by Canadian Mental Health Association um, with the anti-stigma, Niagara Anti-Stigma Committee, um, and the school boards in particular, where we had uh, three men who came in and spoke about their challenges. And... Um, it was very interesting because in the I was able to attend the event, and in the audience, um, there was actually uh, a large number of young males who actually attended the event. So clearly, this was something that uh, resonated with them, and it, I was really pleased to be able to see um, them coming out, them coming out with their parents, and them being able to hear that message that said, um, "It's okay to seek help." Where can they? Where can you get more information on this campaign and, and breaking the stigma? Uh, so there is certainly uh, through the anti-stigma committee. There is shatter the stigma, mend the mind. That has an incredible amount of information. 
the Canadian Mental Health Association also has uh, great resources and information about services on their uh, on their website. And uh, I think that um, anyone who also needs service, we uh, we now have uh, a, a number that is a number that you can phone that provides uh, individuals with the uh, the ability to talk to someone and have a warm um, handoff to the service that they need, and that is through the distress center. That's wonderful. So, again, uh, this week is Canadian Mental Health Week. So we're focusing in on young men and, and men in general, but we'll get loud and, and break down the stigma. So Susan, I want to thank you for the work that you do on the board for the association and for the association's work in our community. Well, thank you very much, Walter, for having me here and letting me speak out. Thank you.